Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys a very quick and easy way to do a crash zoom in After Effects. So first of all I've got two shots, I've got a wide shot that looks like this and then I've got a close up of this zombie. So obviously we want to start with a wide shot and then crash zoom onto his face. So really simple to do, I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to make this one 5 seconds long HD, all the default stuff, I'm going to click on OK and then I'm going to bring in my wide shot. So I'm just going to drag that into the comp and uh, then I'm going to go to the last frame of this wide shot where I actually want to start with the crash zoom. Okay, so that's the last frame. And then I'm going to go backwards about five frames. So one, two, three, four, five. And uh, then I'm going to open the position parameter by pressing P on the keyboard. And then I'm going to set a keyframe on that. Okay, next what we want to do is we want to bring in our close up. So I'm going to drag in my close up below my wide shot. And then I'm just going to space it out and I'm going to make sure that it starts right after my wide shot. So if I play this through, you'll see we've got the wide shot and then it's going to jump over to the close up. So that's all cool. I'm just going to zoom in here a bit. And um, then what we want to do is we want to click on the wide shot and we want to make that layer a 3D layer. So I'm going to click on the 3D parameter and um, then I'm going to go to the last frame. And then what you want to do is you want to adjust the Z position of this layer. So I'm going to bring it closer to us or to the camera, something like that. And then I'm also going to adjust the position by just dragging it around. And what you want to do is you want to try and um, get as close as this frame of your close up as possible by just adjusting the Z position and then also just dragging your um, your clip so that the framing is correct. So I'm just going to try and get it as close as possible. So you can just switch over to your close up and to your wide shot to try and match up maybe the eyes or something like that. So that's pretty close. I'm just going to move it down slightly, something like that. Okay, that's pretty close. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim off the last frame of the wide shot. So I'm just going to trim that down one frame. And now basically we've got that. Okay, and now we just need to, because we've got this black frame here, I'm just going to move my close up one frame earlier. So what you want to do next is you want to enable motion blur on your wide shot. So just enable it on that layer and then also enable it on your composition. Cool. And that's how simple it is to create a crash zoom in After Effects. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this tutorial. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye.